Uh, good hustle, Joe. My bad. <laughs> uh, you know, good uh, good to get a series dub. Um, I thought there was a lot of great bonding going on from that. We put our, um, you know, just a lot of social interaction. We were staying, you know, 40 minutes out of town over in Clarkston, uh, commuting because of graduation. And I enjoyed those bus trips, like uh, playing music. I saw, I heard a lot of laughter. I heard a lot of, you know, guys just connecting with one another, um, you know, pre-game but also post-game. When you have that kind of commute, sometimes you bury yourself in your phone and you're looking at, you know, social media or your, uh, I just thought the focus was towards each other. And I really enjoyed that piece of it, just uh, guys playing games and, and you know, communicating, listening to music, singing songs together, stuff like that, you know, whatever. But it was just more of connecting and finding identity and them running a lot of the conversations. We saw uh, after the loss on Saturday night, um, the offense had been really cold, but they sparked the beginning of offense. And, you know, they found a lot of little nuggets that, hey, this is what we do and how we attack the baseball. And this is, you saw a lot fewer pitches, like being taken in zone after that and guys attacking early and leading to a lot of runs. So um, took that into Gonzaga as well after the flat tire and, uh, you know, the getting in late and doing all that. It was an interesting week of travel, that's for sure, but I thought the guys handled it really well and um, really sparked some uh, offense back into uh, our lineup, which was great. Did, did you get in on the singing for the bus trips? I mean, I've always been known to an note or two, I guess, uh, but there wasn't any getting on the mic and uh, like the old times and and really letting them have it. But it was good. I, Coach Dorman was handling the ox and playing some classic tunes. Okay. What, what's on the ox on the Oregon State baseball bus? Well, we uh, ask recommendations for everyone in the group to send them forward as they're getting on the bus. Uh, but we definitely hit some a lot of '80s rock for a while there. And every now and then, you know, you get Fergalicious or Deuce Rock. Rock. <laughs> um, you know, some Zeppelin, some Pearl Jam, a little bit of it all. Uh, Sweet Caroline hit on, and everybody was erupting with that. It was good. Had a lot of bus issues the past month, it seems. Yeah, it's all right. It, uh, I enjoy I enjoy the the travel, the uh, the bus rides, and the flights, and all that. I think it's a great time to connect, get away from, you know, your own uh, comfort of your own bedroom and and get out there and see a different area just it's a good good experience so you get to the hotel you get out and grab a buddy and you, you walk down the street and check out a different area grab breakfast and uh, or coffee or whatever and just get to have some more like one-on-one -on -one time maybe you're rooming with a guy that you don't room with back home so you get to connect a little differently which um, i think is just an important part of their development um, that social aspect of it so uh, the, the bus issues or anything like that, I, I look at it as a great opportunity and some possible fun as opposed to, um, you know, what was me kind of thing. There's something maybe you can take away, or I don't know if you learned anything, but from, from the little dry spell there that you needed to rebound, did you, did you learn anything about the team? or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, as we noticed, uh, you know, we keep track of each player's at-bats and number of pitches and what types of pitches, how people are throwing us. Um, and quantity of pitches, and what we notice is that we've always been really successful. We're ready to attack pitch one, so we're in that yes mode. And for a long time, like starting pitchers were throwing a lot of pitches, mm -hmm. and but we were being overly patient, and we were in between. So instead of going up there ready to go right now, uh, we were really for a couple of weeks we were just kind of feeling it out and guessing a lot, as opposed to get up there, be balanced, ready to go, swing. And what we noticed those. Last couple of days, um, it was about getting up there, and we were swinging first pitch, we were swinging second pitch, like anything in the zone, we were ready to go. You know, it's going to create a little, a little bit of chase, but just the mentality of "I have the bat, let's roll," um, I think was a, a great learning moment. So reflecting on a lot of the, the numbers that we were collecting, and letting the guys open up and talk about it. What do you see? What are you feeling? What are you thinking? How, how do we need to make adjustments? Um, and obviously it helps when Travis is lighting it up first pitch of the game, uh, kind of pours into the next guy as well. But we got to all make sure we have the identity of that, not just waiting for one or two people to do it. And there's also like a mental toughness factor, and I'm sure you already mm -hmm. felt good about that with this team, but to, you hadn't really 
had much adversity, you know, here and there, it's probably yeah. nice to see them respond in that aspect. Yeah, sometimes we expect the response to happen right away, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes you really got to let it hit, you know, and uh, not just be a one-time thing. Sometimes you just say, okay, it's like uh, we always used to say in the minor leagues, you know, when you don't start a guy one game, they usually take it as, oh, it's an off day. This isn't so bad, you know. And they sit around, they joke in the dugout. Uh, and then day two when you don't start them, uh, that's when, you know, they start quieting, you know, a lot of their verbiage and they're uh, kind of walking around a little different, slower. But day three when you don't start somebody, um, they usually come knock on the door and wonder what's going on. And, you know, it's the same kind of thing. Uh, when something bad happens, ah, no, it's just whatever, let's just pass on it. Like, no big deal tomorrow. Uh, and then it keeps happening. Uh, okay, maybe something's going on. Don't, don't freak out. And then after a few days, like three days of it, you're like, all right, something's got to get fixed. I need to know what's going on. I'm going to have the conversations because um, it's, it's gone too far. And so, you know, when you, you have a, a little rough spell like that from, you know, an offense that you know can be extremely dangerous, we have a handful of the guys that were banged up. Micah, it was nice to see him in there each of those days. And, you know, we sat him on um, uh, Monday's game. Uh, just more of uh, precautionary. They're starting the lefty, not that that matters. Micah hits both. But saying, hey, you know, you've done really well. We can, let's, let's, let's give it a day. And he actually came up to me and goes, I want to play. And I said, <laughs> That's all. I love hearing that. You know, it's better that than the alternate. And I said, be ready for an opportunity today. Um, to come in and make an impact in the game. And Cannon did a great job, had some uh, wonderful at-bats as well, and played solid defense. So, you know, it's um, it's nice to have a little bit of that depth and nice to have the guys wanting to get in there. So excited to see as guys continue to get back, like Brady first coming back after injury for a long time, he just took a few at-bats, and he, he put together some high-quality at-bats. And then, you know, same with Micah. And, you know, as, uh, as TC continues to heal up, that'll be uh, fun to watch his progression and see how he gets back in it. He's already itching to stand in on bullpens and such and track pitches. And he's doing a lot of glove work right now and um, starting to play some catch too, so it's good. Sounds like Arizona's the goal for him versus Arizona. Oh, well. Ideally. Is that? No. Is that on the record? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, again, I got to see. We've been on the road, so I'm going to see where he's at today uh, and how that's progressing. But, you know, the big thing is, is you're getting your mobility back and making sure your body can handle it. I, I, I would love that. That would be fun, um, you know, at some point on that trip. But I think uh, these next few days are going to give us a better indicator of where he's at, just how he's able to throw the baseball, making sure we're not ramping up too much and putting anything at risk. That's the big thing is. Uh, making sure that everything is healed, healed, which it sounds like it is. Is DHing a possibility for him? It sounds like swinging. Isn't I don't think he'll be bunting. <laughs> God, he shouldn't have been doing it to begin with. What are you talking about? you got to be versatile in everything that you do on the field. Okay, well, so he's got to learn how to do it correctly. Yeah. You're gonna, we're going to work on the fundamentals of it. Um, I think you know. he didn't have to do it much at Jay Sarah. I don't, I don't think he did. A lot of guys, when they come in, aren't, aren't big on bunting, but... You know, you watch other guys do it and, and like how it can open up the field. The fact that he was thinking that in that moment was incredible. It just tells you how much he wants to win. Uh, so that's exciting. And so it's just slowing it down a little bit. You get so excited because, hey, I, I'm going to get a hit for the boys here. And, you know, we just get in a bad position or, or what have you. But, um, I mean, even Turley has embraced that and looked for those opportunities and has done it uh, over the years. Um, you know, other guys have done it a long time, like Bazana. But even Forrester, when Garrett was here, that guy is like, I've never bunted, man, but I can tell you I'm the best. <laughs> you know, he had the confidence for it, and he looked for opportunities for it. So, When you look at Joey and the season he's had in light of what he's been through the last couple of years, I mean, that must warm your heart. Like, what's it like seeing him succeed and be back? I know yeah. he's pretty well liked. Yeah, he is. He, he's, he's loved by, by everyone. Um, and we get a lot of we get a lot of great things from him, especially as the season progresses. Because who knows? Like this is the the big la last opportunity to go out there and, and do something special. Uh, and so, in, in turn, a lot of our guys are playing also for him. And the other guys who it's their you know their last hurrah, being at Oregon State as a player. Um, but you know, watching him take take the mound in the fall and like the emotions that come with that. 
I still think it hits every time. And now, you know, it's like continuing to build in his fastball command and his like uh, confidence in those as well. Mm -hmm. he throws the heck out of the slider, and now he's mixing in more and more fastballs, and it's coming out really good. Um, like real clean arm stroke. It's fast. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just it's it's fun being able to watch him come in and throw. And I know obviously this being our last home series, um, it's going to have a, a little. Uh, more appeal to it than the, the normal to go out there and pitch, but I think he's through a lot of the other stuff. He's, yeah, he's in compete mode, and it's all about right now. Yeah, seems like he's kind of the bridge guy now. I mean, he's he's really delivered there in that setup. Yeah. yeah, he's done a phenomenal job. It's been short stints, um, you know, one plus even two, two point yeah. one uh, on occasion. So um, and he's being real efficient. He's attacking the guys, and he's showing up every day understanding like this is it's my last year yeah let's make the most of it how would you assess the, where the bullpen is in general right now um i think that they were still building some identity there we know uh munt and holmes uh, what those guys are, are really bringing to the table watching like uh, nelson i thought that was mm -hmm. the most electric uh, outing i've seen from nelson just the mm. intensity at which he was throwing and when he got the two strikes uh, he was it was c controlled aggression and location with his stuff. And you were watching velocity going anywhere from 92 to 97. The slider was sharp, and he was throwing it up when he wanted to throw up and getting down or getting in when he wanted to. So even when he gave up the bomb, he just he rallied back. He didn't phase him. Moving yeah. on, man. Yeah. What Hutch did the other day came in first pitch homer, whatever first hitter, and then to go three innings, um, you know, no free bases. Great, love that. So. I still think there's some identity being built down there of get the baseball, handle your job. And if it's shorter stints, to have more intensity in that short stint, so be it. Um, rather than stretching guys out. But you want to see guys get the ups. But at this point in the season, like, you had an idea of what you guys are capable of doing based on the track record. So we got to start leaning on those guys a little bit more. Uh, even Washington State, they three of their arms through each of the days out of the pen. You know, that's, that can be a lot. You just got to train the guys to do it, and you have to be efficient with your pitches in order to be up the next day. So, knowing the personnel, but we gotta, we still got we still got some some development that needs to be had down there. Um, I know the guys have the stuff. It's just being able to execute it right away. Working on Leif's confidence right now, or is like just getting him back to where he was? Yeah, I, the the injury early on, you know, as unlucky as that one is. I think it's, um, he looks sharp. I mean, he's talking about like when Travis stands up and goes, dude, you're, you're a guy. Mm -hmm. uh, we all saw that as well. Um, and his slider in his, in his work sessions, he's going to get up and throw again today. Um, slider's looking better and better. I mean, the guy's, you know, mid 90s feeder. Yeah. And he's not a short fella. He's tall, so he's got some good tilt to it. But um, I think he's, he's very close. I know he's had some outings where, Given up a couple hits or what have you, but I think there's still a ton of confidence from all the guys when he takes them out.